My royal masterminds, Lady Colin Campbell and Phil Dampier coming up first, though, The Clash. Now, she claims to have a newfound hatred of photographers, but Meghan Markle was conveniently snapped wearing a new health gadget on her wrist while walking in Montecito at the weekend. Her arm in the right place, this picture of Meghan wearing a $4 anxiety-busting wrist patch was quickly used in advertising by the health firm that made it sparking hysteria online. GB News star Camilla Tomine was quick to point out the potentially strategic nature of that snap. What I find interesting about this image is, I don't know if we can zoom in on it, but yeah, isn't it interesting how one of her sleeves is turned down to reveal this mental health disc and the other sleeve isn't? How convenient indeed. So that nicely timed picture comes as Megan considers relaunching her personal lifestyle blog, The Tig, which she abandoned in 2017 as she prepared to marry Harry. It could spark a much needed commercial uh, I guess, a uh, commercial boost after she's lost uh, that Spotify and Netflix deal. But what do you think? I want to know if you would be more likely to buy a product if it were marketed by Megan. Dan at GBNews.com. Vote in our poll at GB News on Twitter. To debate this now, the editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, social commentator, Joanna Jaju, and royal scoop getter at The Spectator, Cara Kennedy. So, Cara, I mean, come on. This wasn't a coincidence, was it? No, uh, Meghan Markle in particular is so meticulous with this stuff, with the details and placement and timing. Um, the fact that as the paparazzi was right in front of her, snapping away, she tucked her hair behind her ear and revealed <laughs> biosignal processing disc, whatever that is. Yeah. Um, but it's certainly no accident. And it's also widely speculated that Meghan and Harry have some kind of deal with the paparazzi. I've written about this before. So this is background. and let them know. It's this be. company called Backgrid. Is that right? Yeah, a kind of. Uh, it, it's not. It's not for certain, but it seems to be yeah. that this company is kind of on call before they even get to places. I mean, typically the paparazzi will catch you coming out of somewhere because somebody has called them on you. Well, well you've been in somewhere, but they seem to be snapped as soon as they walk in in places. Um, and also this kind of ties in with a brand, the pseudoscience, wellness, therapy stuff. So it seems that this is very intentional. I mean, both Harry, Meghan and Backgrid, I think, have denied Ingrid any sort of formal relationship. But can you understand that given Meghan is about to dive back into the lifestyle world with a blog to compete with Gwyneth Paltrow and Goop, this feels very conveniently timed. Well, it does. And also the other thing is that um, in California, they're having one of the uh, hottest summers they've ever, ever had. And there is Megan wearing a sort of $1,000 plus coat, an Hermes scarf, um, mm. very beautifully dressed. I mean, and she's got her shirt tucked into her belt, which is very on trend. Um, and she looks amazing because Megan is a real, I think she's a really beautiful dresser, but she's obviously literally just been touched up before she walked out, uh, you know, and, and then to show off the li the little circlet on her wrist. I mean, it's, it's just completely set up and there's nothing wrong with that. But why does she think we're so idiotic as to not think that the whole thing is set up and that she's going to do the same with, uh, if indeed she does start it again with her uh, her blog, The Tig. Um, and I don't think I would particularly take any notice of anything that Megan uh, proposed on that because, mm. you know, she's basically getting everything for free um, and she's promoting her freebies, which is what she used to do before she met Harry. Oh, yeah, and by the way, it's what she wanted to do when she was within the royal family too, and she was horrified, mortified when the courtiers told her, oh, no, 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 you've got to send all the stuff back. Uh, Joanna Chajou, though, you actually love this idea of Meghan bringing back the TIG. You think it's a good commercial idea for her, uh, you think it would work for her, and I presume you would be more likely to buy something if Meghan were promoting it. Um, yes, absolutely. I mean, just as my fellow um, panellists just said, she dresses impeccably. She dresses very well. So why wouldn't I um, be influenced by her just like many other people around the world? But my big question is, even if she does have this, 
thing on her wrist. Why do you all care? Haven't you all been saying for months and months you want them to do their own thing, find their own way of making money and stay away from the royal family? This is something that's clearly personal to her. It's a health and wellness thing. And she has it on her wrist. Even if, hypothetically, she was promoting this company, she has a Hermes scarf around her neck is she promoting that she has a maximara coat is she promoting that i think it was just an excuse for the media to look at this thing that not everybody knows what it is so they focused on that and now they're trying to pretend as if megan's doing this with some commercial thing she hasn't even officially announced that she's going to relaunch the tag i hope that she does and i hope that when she does she doesn't get picked apart week on week on week by just being out and about running errands and we all know how lucrative a picture of Meghan markle is look at it it's like front page everywhere everybody's talking about it so why is it so hard to understand that paparazzi might actually be there waiting for her because they know that it's a big payday whenever they get a picture of her coming out of the doctors or just going to the farmer's market well that's a good point cara i'll let you answer that but in the context of that, Cara, isn't it just a little bit hypocritical when they tell us all the time? I mean, Harry was literally doing it in Japan last week. Our whole life is about charity when we know nothing's about charity. Now, it's all about making money. So maybe just be honest about that. Just admit what you're doing. Yeah, I think I think so too. And I mean, there is the point that we all kind of say, oh, well, I wouldn't buy this if Meghan Markle... Um, promoted it but we are kind of all talking about bio signal process yeah well she's proved her point I, I, I mean, so there I mean, is the point that however unpopular or popular or divisive she is mm. um she is a great marketing technique and this is why um brands would want to be associated it. with her well indeed and ingrid Seward. I mean, maybe Joanna is completely right on this. Actually, has Meghan not just proved over the past 24 hours she can literally turn an unknown brand into the most talked about product in the world? And so if she is doing this in anticipation of launching the TIG, maybe some corporates that previously would have been a little bit worried about getting involved with the toxicity of the Sussexes might think again. Well, yes, I think you're right. I mean, I think that Meghan's marketing ploys are extraordinary and nothing she ever does is by chance. Everything mm. that she does is organised and studied and set up by her PRs. And I go on about this, but it is sweltering in California. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. We, know, you, it's we, we, we know it's set up. We know it's set up. Good for her. Good, good for, for her. But jo jo I'm going to go back on this, Dan, and say... Yeah. I think she should, if she is really good at this, you can't take that away from her, but just drop the Duchess of Sussex and yeah, just yeah, be yeah. Meghan Markle. Just be Meghan. I think that's a really fair point. Joanna, now? final word to you. Can Meghan Markle be bigger than Gwyneth Paltrow in this space? Absolutely. I think she already is by just being Meghan Markle and, you know, just the history and how much people talk about her. Obviously, Gwyneth Paltrow is successful in her own right, but I don't see, you know, paparazzi falling over themselves to get pictures of um, <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. And yes, okay. you know, we'd go on Good stuff. Paltrow's blog, but I don't think, you know... OK, yeah. good stuff. No, I hear you all. Joanna Jaju, Ingrid Seward, Cara Kennedy, love speaking to you. Thank you very much. Who do you agree with on this? Would you be more or less likely to buy a product marketed by Megan? Skylar on Twitter writes, any company that gets Megan to market their products can expect a great reduction in custom. No one wants to be associated with her and Harry anymore. From Joe, this is via the email, Megan's proven herself a successful independent woman, so she has a strong brand. I'd be more likely to buy something she's affiliated with. And Glover writes, I'd be more likely to buy a Bud Light, stop for a coffee at Costa and complete a Disney marathon uh, than I would buy anything bearing Meghan's name. Uh, your verdict is in. It's overwhelming. 11% of you say you would be more likely to buy a product marketed by Meghan Markle. 89% of you say you would be less likely.